Hello guys, welcome to our second video of how to develop a Pac-Man game from scratch in Java. And uh, today we are only going to handle collisions with our blocks. And uh, another thing that I want to tell you guys. So uh, <coughs> this is my first series for the channel, so I'm uh, thinking about uh, different ways of how to make the videos and how long should be. And uh, I think that short videos with a good explanation is going to be better, like uh, 15 minutes, the 15 minutes the maximum of the of per video. And uh, I'm going to try to explain my at my best. For you guys really understand what what is happening here because in the last video I felt like. Uh, I was too fast and this is most like a, a beginner kind of game. So if you any questions that you have about the previous video you can ask me and uh, I'm going to answer as soon as possible. Alright? Any questions? Okay? So today we are going to handle collisions. The last time we stop here. We have our character, he can move around the map but uh, he can go through the wall as you can see our enemy still nothing happens alright we need collisions now alright so wh what do we know we know that we have a map that is 32 by 32 pixels our each block and our character also is 32 by 32 so this is re uh, uh, these numbers but, uh, for is the same I mean it's easier to handle the collisions you know and uh, you need to make a oh man I, d I know how to say this in English you need to uh, just a minute sorry you guys my English is <laughs> not really good it's sometimes it's uh, I I, my, my practice so uh, I was looking how to say this we, our speed is divisible for our size of our blocks so this way is easy for we predict our next movement and uh, do not go too much inside the wall and uh, not stay outside the wall okay you're going to understand what I mean so uh, all right let's create a method private boolean can move let's return true as default okay and our parameter here is going to be our next x that we want to check and next y alright uh, our class is already a rectangle we could use our, our player to test the, the collisions but uh, we are texting for our next movement we are uh, we are only predicting our next movement okay so it's not the ideal we set our, our position for our rectangle of our class but uh, we can create another rectangle and uh, it's going to be better for we can handle the collision okay so follow me here create a new rectangle it's called this bounce new rectangle with our next x our next y by our width and our height 32 by 32 alright now we need our tiles to check everyone and see if they, they collide ok level equal game dot level what I'm doing here I'm uh, only creating uh, this variable here for I don't need to call like game dot level every time we only call level now as this is static in our main class as you can see here we can assess in any class okay this is the way I do it uh, I think this is depend the style of each programmer okay I like to do like this and uh, never had problem right so now we look for each block of our map and we test for the collision so x equals 0 x x is less than level dot 
tiles dot blank xx plus plus yy equal zero yy slash level dot tiles now we need our uh, second array of the tiles y plus plus alright so inside our loop first we need to check if our tiles are xx yy if they are different from null if this is different from null we know that this is a wall so now we check uh, in rectangle class there is a met a lot of methods that can make our life really easy but uh, the one that uh, uh, I always use to check my collisions is the intersect method the intersect method tests if one rectangle intersect with other so we call like if our bounds the variable we create here dot intersects with uh, which rectangle with the level dot tiles xx yy Remember, our tile, we can't check the intersection with them because they extend the rectangle class. So they are also a rectangle. So we can test. Okay, so if this intersects with a tile, we have a collision. So we can't move. We return false. Okay, so I think that's it let's see if this is working now how can we use this method our first if right if our right is pressed we want to go to the right so and now let's add here if I can move X plus speed and Y if I can move for this direction right here so our uh, our way is free, so make the move. X plus equal speed. Okay. Now left, same process. Only change the direction. No speed. Blow y. Now for the vertical movement, if you can move. Now let's change the y axis. Speed. Uh, I think that's it. Let's test and if this is working. Let's run. Yes, it seems to be working. As you can see, perfect collision. Our FPS is still the same. I mean, uh, this is a small game. We have a small map here, so we don't need to optimize a lot this can move method, but uh, if you want. Uh, a big optimization you, cou you could do is only check for adja adjacent tiles uh, I mean the tiles that are next to you and that you can intersect but uh, I show you guys this another video alright for now let's just use this method it's working perfectly as you can see no co collisions here with the wall okay perfect collision system alright Perfect. Let's see how long we have here. Eight minutes. Mm. Uh, I think that's it. Let's stop for. Let's stop for here. And uh, my next video, we are going to start working with the Apple system. That is pretty easy. The for that our Pac-Man can eat the our apples in our, our map and increase the score and when there are no apples in the map we win the game and I'll probably also start to to work with some sprites and uh, yeah I start some art to, to make a prettier game okay if you have any questions please ask and uh, that's it guys thank you very much